Hello everyone, this is the Panda Photographer and this is going to be a Small Rigs customer service and quality control update video about my experience talking to Small Rigs and dealing with their products. Now, if you haven't seen my iPhone 11 Pro 2777 or 2778 cage reviews or update videos, Small Rigs has a problem. Quality quality control is a problem because they claim that this product is made out of aluminum alloy and it's not really because if it was it should have been cold to the touch but I'm able to hold this in extreme weather that's another thing that's a giveaway and I want everyone to understand this as structurally this is a problem now I have other products from another manufacturer that says they use aluminum alloy and they do because their products and the cold get extremely cold that you cannot physically touch the cages or the camera equipment in extreme weather because it gets extremely cold. But with the small rigs, it doesn't get cold. I literally in what New York City and 20 degree Fahrenheit weather, I'm able to hold that cage in my hand without gloves with no problem. And even with the gloves, it doesn't get cold. It should be getting cold in my hands through the gloves, but it doesn't. And I emphasize this on a video test. Why small rigs might be claiming that their products are aluminum alloy, but they might not be. With that said, yes, the material is light, but let me explain what happened to my cage. Since they don't have it here. You see this area here where it mounts anamorphic lenses? This piece here comes off completely because small rigs forgot to use a material called light tight. Not only really that, the screws that you see in this image here came off within the first week. Then the screws down here came off within the second week and then they disappear. They just rinse and fall out. Not only that, the cage itself has this material that's inside the liner to protect your iPhone for any bumps and, or, or drops. Ladies and gentlemen, it is not a bumper. It's a fabric. It's not rubberized. It's a fabric. It's not going to protect your phone if you drop the phone by accident with this case because this case will crack the glass on your iPhone. So with that said, everyone, now don't get me wrong. I, at first, I was intrigued by the product because it had features that I really want to utilize as a videographer, photographer, YouTuber, and then pentably work in. But I was disappointed how small rigs did not communicate to me to social media. Social media since July of 2022 and now has been poor. Within the last, I said, last two weeks since January 15 of 2023, Small Rigs decided to contact me because they saw some very interesting posts on social media. And I pointed, I pointed out in their face, you guys have a bad customer service. You guys only want to cater to those YouTubers that have more than 50,000 subscribers. And that's the problem about YouTube, ladies and gentlemen. Everyone that buys a product for Small Rigs has a fair right and a fair say to do assessment on their products. And Small Rigs needs to look at the bigger picture here and respect all consumers, not just pro photographers or pro videographers or pro YouTubers, because there are pro YouTubers and pro photographers on this platform that don't get the recognition or respect by YouTube. And then when you do come across their videos, you guys want to send them a product later after they really did the video a year ago. So with that said, everyone, this is small rigs. This is a good example. I made the video in July of 2022, August 2022, September 2022, October 2022, November 2022, December 2022, and January 2023. And they still refuse to answer until I post a very important article in video about the problem with warranty with small rigs, quality control. And then they looked at this, they looked at this and didn't even read it or watch the video. And this is where I said, are you kidding me? You don't take the person time to describe, I literally described the problem in the videos. 
This is why they never looked at the videos until I got this video, this, this email. I believe it's this email. Yeah. It says, hi, Keiki is my name for all of you out there. It's not Kiki, it's Keiki. So thank you for the message. Sorry for the inconvenience. I can see from the video the case was often used, blah, blah, blah. And this is where this person, Nancy, did not watch the video in full. This is why, wait, wait, wait till you see the next email. This is why, Nancy, you don't need to be customer experience department because you didn't watch none of the content that I linked to you at all. You know who watched the content? And Nancy, by the way, wanted me to send the screws. Keep this in mind, ladies and gentlemen. She wanted me, she wanted to send the screws, knowing that I super glued the whole cage back together. You can no longer lose screws. I literally super glued it into this email. This is the email. I think this is the email where the representative decided, a different representative, Linton, decided we apologize for the inconvenience caused to, caused to the problem. He watched, he or she watched the video and for all of it and saw the problems. So I gave him a question and answered. And then he replied back with this. It says, thank you for the response for our arrangement. We would like to summarize our plan for your references for the re refund. This is for the refund for the cage at BNH because I did buy this on BNH. Keep in mind, this has nothing to do with BNH, but the pricing for this cage was a little bit expensive $50 when small grades were selling for $20. But we had arranged with BNH, and please keep check on your account. And then they decided to go ahead themselves. This is what's going on now, ladies and gentlemen. They decided to refund me not only the, the, the cage, but to fix my iPhone's cameras on the back of my iPhone 11 Pro Max. So they're giving me the 148.85 plus, which I'm going to show you another email. As you can see, dear Keiki, thank you for the reply to process the refunds passed for you. We also will send the BNH order refund for $49.96 along with the $148.85 to your PayPal account through, not through BNH. They want to do this and make it right. Because Vincent here from customer service watched the videos. And when I talked about the fabric inside the phone, I want to ask Smogris one question. How can you offer, let me, let me explain. You see, you see this fabric on this door hinge here and around the phone? That's not rubberized. That's just a fabric. It does not protect your phone from being accidentally dropped. That's a flaw. I have other cages just like this from other brands that have rubberized materials that prevents anti-shock or anti-cracking due to your phone on your iPhones. I, I'm going to say the brand, Sunway Photo, sends me these products and I sustain it. I dropped the cage multiple times on purpose to see if my phone would crack and didn't crack with their cage. But apparently my other phone, my iPhone, did crack using their cage. I'm just emphasizing why there's so many flaws to, these, to this product. But I do recommend, I'm, I'm sorry, I do commend Small Rigs for trying to make this right. Because you guys have a very bad, not you guys, not all of you are Small Rigs, but Nancy, that's her name, I'm gonna point her out in this video. Nancy decided to do a shortcut and cut corners and not read the whole full article in video in full. And this is what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. Can you trust small rigs and the quality control department now after you, what you just saw in this video? Can you really absolutely, truly trust them now after admitting, this, is a, 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 this email is basically an admit 
to the product failing. This is a, an admit email. This is a, a, a confession to the consumer, to the pro consumer, a pro photographer like myself and a videographer that you just proved to me that I can't trust your products anymore. Why should I pay a premium when you don't even provide me the customer service to go with it? But with that said, everyone, I just want to emphasize there within the last four hours, they contact me and said this, dear Keiki, thank you for the confirm, confirm, <laughs> confirm that we will arrange the transfer of $198.81 to your PayPal account. Once it's done, we will notify you by email. Have a nice day. Regards, Vince from Customer Service Mornings. Why does it have to take 100 other people to get to one person, to have this one person watch the content in full, to understand what was physically wrong with the product? With that said, everyone, I still not, would not buy a small rigs product, knowing that if I have to go through this again, I refuse to do so. So with that said, everyone, I know this video is a little bit longer, but you need to understand the context of what led to this issue. And keep this in mind, with these emails, uh, I did provided a invoice to it. Where is the invoice? You see how I, I, this, this is a screenshot. And then Sean, look, look at the missing screws due to time of the video or shooting this video. Look at the missing screws. <laughs> like, and super glue. The whole damn thing is super glued, friends. So with that said, I know some of you guys are going to say, well, it looks very abused. Well, after Small Ricks did not reply back to my emails or my my tags or social media, I abused the hell out of it. I did so many things with it. I crazy glued it, but here's my B&H order. So you guys can see how much I paid for it, $40.96. I'm not gonna shoot it, you guys can see my order number. I don't care, B&H, sorry, but I don't care because my credit card is blocked anyway. <laughs> this is my invoice. Look how much I had to pay for it, $49.96. And honestly, it wasn't worth $40.96 at the date of time of order, which is 7-24-2022. So, yeah, so technically I had it August, September, October, November, December, January, six months. Keep in mind, these products have a two-year warranty on them. And Small Rigs took their sweet-ass time replying back to me. So this is why I'm emphasizing why I won't buy another Small Rigs product ever again. That's just simple. But with that said, everyone, I hope you guys understand and enjoy this video or try to make some sense out of this video. I'm just giving you guys an update. But with that said, everyone, thank you for the, the refund small rig, but I still, as someone that is smart enough to know, I still won't buy your product. Thank you for the response, everybody. I hope this video makes sense to any consumer looking at the Small Rick's product in the future. Be aware that not all products are made the same. And I'm really skeptical about them using aluminum alloy when it, I feel like it's not aluminum alloy because it doesn't get cold to the touch. So with that said, everyone, take care. Eat, sleep, photography, videography, review your, review your products and repeat. <laughs> And I will talk to you guys in the next one. See ya.